everyone, how are you going? Karen Finnan here. Look, I've had a few people ask me recently how I do my Instagram TV videos. So for Physios Online, um, we've started up a channel um, called OPTV, Online Physio TV, um, on Instagram. So IGTV, I've made a video about it before, is a new sort of video platform that Instagram has made. The main difference being that the videos are in vertical style or portrait style. So today I'm going to share with you the very, very simplest way that I've worked out to make IGTV videos. There are lots of different ways you can then make it more complex or film things in landscape and crop them and all of that sort of stuff. I'm not going to go into any of that. I'm just going to go from the simplest level of how can I take that vertical video and make it polished for an IGTV episode. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I did was jump on over into Canva and just create um, an introductory and a final graphic to use to top and tail my Instagram TV um, episodes. So this isn't a tutorial for Canva, but it's basically a drag and drop designer where you can sort of move elements in and out. Um, basically for me, I included our logo, I added TV, I did a bit of an Instagram sort of image so people know that these episodes are custom made for IGTV and just a theme of what the channel is about. So that's my intro um, screen. And then at the end, I pop this. I had a look at Instagram and I saw that if you um, click in the top left, you can tap and follow the account. And if you click down the bottom, you can like and comment. So I did that. But look, at the end of the day, it's just another chance to get a nice, neat screen in there with a link back to your website. So that was the first step is simply designing and using that uh, 9 by 16 ratio to develop um, some graphics. Okay, so the next step was to jump into a basic video editing software. Now, I'm a Mac user, so I'm using iMovie, but if you're a PC user, there will be an equivalent basic video editing software that you can use. So here's my video footage down here. Um, I try and do it all in one take so I can just adjust the um, size of the file and just edit the you know the start and the end, that sort of thing. Um, now, obviously, I can't give you a tutorial in video editing, but basically pop it in there. Then you drag and drop your intro screen and your outro screen, um, either end of it. Now, the other thing that I did was just grab an audio. There's, there are little audio tracks um, included in iMovie, and I just grabbed a little riff, um, and I put that at the start and then the same riff at the end, so that each time that that branding screen's presented, there's a little guitar riff that plays. Now, the most important bit happens now. If I was to export this video like this, it would appear with the black boxes on the side, okay? Now, we don't want that. We want that portrait style video to fill the entire screen. So this is what I had to do. So from here, grab each one and rotate it sideways. So every element I've rotated sideways like so. And so now you can see that it completely fills the screen, albeit sideways. So that is how I then exported the video. And then you'll see the important bit that happens next. Alrighty, so once that movie was exported, I double clicked on it to open it. Now in my Mac, the default software it uses to do that is QuickTime, but again, there would be equivalent on the PC. So that's my video open there and you can see it's sideways. So I just simply jump into edit, rotate left, and now it's the perfect way up. And when I close that, it saves it in that orientation. Demo IGTV video. And it's going to save that video. All right, so the final thing you've then got to do is load it up into Instagram. Now, if you haven't signed up for Instagram TV yet, when you log into the app on your phone, you can click on this little logo. It'll be in the top right, top right corner. It's a little TV with the line through it. So if you click on that, it'll be very easy for you to sign up for a channel. Once you do that, I then suggest you log in on your desktop so that you can then hit the upload button. And this is where you will drag and drop that video file that we switched back to portrait. You put a title and description. Now you can either post that live at that time or you can save it as a draft. At this stage, you can't schedule in advance your IGTV episodes, but you can certainly save two to three videos as drafts 
to then send them live on the day that you actually want them to go live. So then you see the finished product, which is something like this. So it's Karen Finnan here. I am a physiotherapist and these days I work entirely online. So I'm mobile with my laptop by my side. So there you have it. That was the most straightforward way that I could work out to make neat little episodes for IGTV. I hope that's inspired you to try some um, yourself. If you do, please let me know. Send me a link. I would love to have a look and I would love to follow you on Instagram as well. Thanks, guys. I hope that's been useful for you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.